Right guys, very quick video about coil making. This is a rig I make for very long coils because I need to make one to repair my welder. I have a welder VHA2000 I guess, it's in pieces, so I need to make a heating element. But this method you can use for your waves and you can even make uh, instrument strings by this way. Uh, piano strings or other maybe guitar strings I don't know it even maybe classical guitar it's the same procedure actually so what are we looking here I have a hook here and I have two L shapes and I have a base which I just secured with two clamps that other clamp is, is somewhere else but I use two right now I'm not using the other so this is a bit under tension so what I do, I have this hook here and I have these, uh, I don't know whatever they are called. The reason I have them like this, when I have the coil, I need to remove it. I need to remove it from this base, uh, base uh, wire. So I need a way, non-destructive way, because I want to use this to uh, to get the coil out of it but if you are making instruments strings of course you don't need to remove the the coil from the base wire anyways and these are just secured on the wood and there are some washers here and there is one small washer as you can see the reason it that is small is to minimize the friction because this needs to spin there is also another another small spacer here so this end is the end that you t uh, apply the tension tightening these screws gives tension and you can either use uh, if you want to be controlled you can either use uh, a wrench like this and you can hand crank with your hand or if if you want to go fast, you can use a power drill, chuck it in the end and you can go extremely slowly, uh, fast uh, and it's not as hard as you think. So now I will secure the camera and I will show you how you can make coils. Alright, I came to the uh, to the very end and I stack some nuts here to be able to to get the the chuck uh, bite the the chuck of the drill bite and I squeeze them to each other and I have a sacrificial wire here just just to practice so you can just insert it at, inside this loop and you can very roughly roughly make a uh, nut here kind of nut and if you need the ends I I uh, suggest you that you make some very loose loose coils uh, first first a couple loose coils if you if you need to need to use uh, this end because for some reason you may need so I need so I will I will have this uh, this uh, open hands in my in my case but for now for now I will just make if you if you really need to make some some just tight coils I would like to show you and this is just my second second time actually doing it so let me just wrap it around a bit okay all right whatever so first I will just start with a wrench just to see how it works first I will use a wrench to show it in in uh, slow speed and be sure that your wire is tangle free <laughs> mine is definitely because it's just just I used it so you start you start cranking it and better better this direction so you can feed the wire from from downside and then the first loops are not so important try to have it like 90 degrees the the wires will 
uh, guide themselves and while you crank you see that wires start stacking on top of each other as you can see I need better lighting here so what happens if you need a, a very long coil or if you want to make your instrument strings or something so you need a very fast spinning thing this will just kill you so the beginning procedure is the same you make a, a kind of nut in the end just to keep the the end in place and then you get your drill and you place it and you should check the rotation if the rotation is right and then start the the winding and then if you are like a rookie like me you can start slowly and then when you get comfortable you can start actually going fast and the wire the wire is actually leading me as you can see I sucked a bit in the end but you know this uh, this is my just really the the second time trying it so as you can see uh, in this in this method you can go really fast if you practice a couple more times so let's try if I can just go fast again okay so this gives you an idea I guess just wanted to I just wanted to uh, show you how you can do it and by the way don't let the don't let the wire if you are using thicker wire that can hit you and after you wind give a couple of turns uh, in the opposite direction so it will not hit you and once you are done let me get the camera once you are done and if you don't need to to have this whole uh, wire on on this wire you can just you can just take it out and then you can undo this and then you can take it out from here and yeah this is the jig I made for the let me get the autofocus back on please yeah so this is the jig I make and it's very very easy very you can do it very fast and as you can see it's very effective it's just doing very okay this is me sucking you know it's my fault that uh, it's not good but it's as I, as I said it's my third time so just doing it build it last night so yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video and if you have any questions, any requests, or stuff, just leave me a comment. And if you want to help me, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.